Hi everyone, Eric from Flex here. In this video, I wanted to share one of the most useful tips and one of the coolest features Aura has to offer, the Convert Aura feature. We're looking at the brand new RV8 G2 that Rocky has been flying as a demo plane on Spectrum. He gave it to me over the weekend and I fly FR Sky. So I thought, might as well make a video and show you how to convert your Aura back to stock if you pick up your plane second hand, pick up your Aura second hand, or you've messed with your Aura profile so much that you just want to convert it back to stock. The Convert Aura feature is so useful. I need to use it in this video because I need to convert the Aura back to stock so I can set it up for FR Sky. The first thing we need to do is connect our Aura to the config tool using the USB cable provided. Connect your Aura to the computer and then hit the connect button in the lower right hand corner. Click the OK button and then go back to the lower right hand corner and click Read from Aura. This will bring up all the current information that's saved on the Aura. Let's take a look. OK, I see Rocky has renamed his profile Rocky's RV8G2. And he has set it up for Spectrum. Let's take a look at his flight modes to see if he's adjusted anything. OK, immediately I can see flight mode 1 is renamed Rocky Sport. So I'm sure he has gone in here and changed some of the settings. So we will need to convert this Aura back to a stock profile. Oh yes, he has changed quite a bit, I can see. But that's okay. If you pick up your Aura or Flex Innovation Super PMP plane second hand, or maybe you have adjusted your Aura and you just wanna take it back to stock, that's always possible. Just follow these steps and everything will work out. So the first thing that we need to do is make sure that our Aura is up to date. If you click on the Aura tools menu at the top of the screen, you'll find that there's a couple of options to update here, one of them being the Aura firmware. So let's click on update Aura firmware. This will tell me my current firmware version. So I've got an RV8 G2 with firmware version 1.21, and there is not a current version available. If there was, it would tell you right here. Um, if you could update the Aura, you would just simply put in your email address and click this download and install firmware update button. But since we don't need to, let's click the close button. And now we need to reconnect our Aura. In the lower right hand corner, click the connect button, and then again, read from Aura. So what we're going to do now is convert the Aura back to a stock RV8 G2 profile. So as you can see here, we've still got Rocky's RV8 G2. If we click on the Aura Tools menu, there's an option to convert the Aura. Click Convert Aura. Here, you'll see the current Aura version. We've got an RV8 G2 version 1.21 loaded and convertible to with a drop-down menu. If we click on the drop-down menu, Select RV8 60G2 again. You're just converting your RV8 back to an RV8. If you are using a, for example, Cessna uh, G1 or G2, and you want to convert it back to a stock profile, select whichever profile you want. So if it was a Cessna, convert it back to a Cessna, and that will get you the stock profile. But we're going to use RV8 G2 here and click the Download and Convert Aura button after you've put in your email address. Now be patient, this process can take a few seconds after you've clicked the button. If everything's going all right, Windows will pop up to prompt you to simply click yes and uh, move along. So we'll click yes here. Aura conversion installed. Click OK to restart the Aura and finish the update. Okay. This will bring me back to the Aura desktop. After that, I'm gonna click the connect button in the lower right hand corner. And again, read from Aura. So you can see right away, the name has changed. It's just RV860G2. Transmitter type, receiver connection, everything is changed to auto detect. Let's double check and make sure none of the flight modes are named different. Our RV8 G2 has been converted back to a stock profile. All the settings are stock. So again, this works for any super plug and play model that we have. 
The convert feature is the best way to uh, convert your aura right back to a stop setup. Once you're completed, um, you can click the disconnect button in the lower right hand corner and unplug your aura from the computer. I went ahead and removed the spectrum receiver from the fuselage so I could return it to Rocky. The next thing I did was replace it with my TDR18 FR Sky receiver. I set up a basic radio profile and then bound the receiver to the transmitter. I powered up the plane to make sure that the bind was good and that all the surfaces were moving correctly. The convert aura process is now complete. Looks like the only thing left to do is check all the surfaces, flight modes, and make sure Crow is working. Here we go. Okay, looks like ailerons are working, elevators working, rudders the correct direction. I have all three flight modes. Okay, flaps are deploying correctly, and Crow is working. So the convert aura process worked perfectly. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the video, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching, everybody.